Next Sunday, the last Sunday in June, is usually the time for the annual Mission Sunday at St Andrews for our mission projects in Uganda and Tanzania. The time is still not right to go back to holding our usual mission lunch, but I pray that the Holy Spirit will enable you to support generously our mission projects so that the work in Uganda and Tanzania can continue at undiminished levels. In Uganda, where Peter and Ruth Manuel are missionaries, the support is mostly used for the family's living expenses, including work permits and visas, homeschooling materials, security guard, return flights home and keeping their vehicle on the road. This first slide shows Peter at his desk at Andrew Womack College. Peter comments, I have been busy following up on Charis Bible studies run by alumni and discipleship evangelism also run by alumni and friends of the ministry. All of this I have been cataloguing on the Charis Uganda Net website where I have authored now over 50 pages giving information about the ministry and testimonies of alumni. We hope to do missions close to Kampala and I may be involved in a mission to a major town in the southwest of Uganda called Umbarara. The people who I was involved with when preparing for a mission and during our brief holiday resulted in contacts for two radio stations which may be able to air the Andrew Womack Gospel Truth Half Hour daily teaching which is very popular and successful. I also gave my testimony on the radio on the 4th of June which went well. Peter has a preaching ministry at his local church. Peter comments, I have been preaching regularly, almost every Sunday morning, and encouraging people to see who they are in Christ and God's favour towards them. This slide shows Peter assisting in a church baptism. He also chairs the building committee responsible for the construction of the new church. Peter also comments, the building fund has prospered with about £400 raised by the church and a huge gift of £1,300 by a Liberian brother. We have restarted door-to-door -door evangelism on Tuesdays. This slide shows the Manuel's Charis Bible Study Home Group. Our study is The New You and the Holy Spirit. Our neighbours come only sometimes and it seems to vary a lot who attends. But they all know it's on every Thursday and it's made our nearby area closer in terms of knowing each other. Our landlord's friend's son, Junior, attends regularly and we've been encouraging him to rejoin a local church. Ruth also assists at the local church. Here you see her teaching at the Sunday school. This next slide shows Ruth involved in her usual Sunday school preparation. Ruth has maintained her nursing skills and registration and assists part-time at Cherish, an HIV clinic established by an American Christian charity. Ruth comments, Last year we prayed for a man David who had a swollen shoulder from cancer and was in a lot of pain, waiting a month or so in a Kampala hospital for an amputation of his arm. I went with Peter and the doctor and we all prayed for him and he gave his life to Jesus. His arm was amputated and healed well, but he needed painkillers for the ghost pain. Now he still has cancer and is having chemotherapy. Last year, we gave money raised by St Andrews to Cherish to help him and other patients that needed support. Here is Ruth assisting with dispensing in the clinic pharmacy. Ruth says, 
I have enjoyed helping in the clinic, treating clients of all ages from the community with emergencies, such as motorbike accidents, injuries, etc. Giving intravenous medicines for typhoid, malaria and other infections. Many have HIV and take medication. I also help in pharmacy, immunisation and give health education. Cherish has lost a lot of financial help due to Corona and is fundraising to start a maternity unit in the clinic. Hopefully our doctor, who has experience to set this up, will begin this in December. Our support in prayer and funding goes to keeping the whole family active in the Lord's work in Uganda. This includes supporting the homeschooling of Samuel, David and Naomi. In Tanzania, we support the Omani Bible College. This photo, taken at the 2020 graduation ceremony, shows some of our sponsored trainee pastors. Presently, we have 14 sponsored trainee pastors and four full-time Christian workers on their three-year course. A comment in the latest Op Operation Mobilization magazine said, African Christians are increasing at a faster rate than any other continent. They will soon number 200 million and will be two-thirds of the sub-Saharan population. This rapid growth means that many churches lack pastors and many pastors lack training. At the Amani Bible College, the Lord is providing the much needed training of his people to cope with the expansion of his kingdom in Tanzania. This photo, taken at last December's graduation, shows some of our sponsored evangelists. Evangelists serve to lead congregations who have no pastor and to promote church plants in new areas. This year, St Andrews is sponsoring three evangelists. Reverend Laurent Mwaja, sitting centre-right, is our primary connection in Iringa. The college director, Reverend Moti Magumba, wrote on the 21st of May, I thank the members of St Andrews for your continued prayers for Omani College. Thank you also for sending financial support, without which we could not continue with the training of evangelists and pastors at this college. This is making a great difference in the growth of the church here. Amani College has a trade school. This photo shows two of our sponsored tailoring trainees receiving their sewing machines at last December's graduation. At the trade school, orphans and youngsters from very poor families are trained in tailoring or carpentry and are taught the faith through Bible studies, daily worship and evangelism. Presently, we have four sponsored tailors and two carpenters. Here is one of our sponsored carpentry trainees receiving his toolkit at last year's graduation. This slide shows the village church of one of the five bush villages which form the young parish of Mangawi. We are helping this congregation with their mud-built church, often damaged in the rainy season, to be replaced with a permanent brick one. This shows another Mangawe church, with new building and increased congregation. Mangawe Parish is expanding. Every other month there is an evangelistic campaign or seminar lasting five days in one of the villages. Using the choir for worship and a visiting preacher and the local Christians for the gospel message. We praise God for saving many people from animism and for his work of growing his kingdom there. 
This slide shows the rented, mud-built pastor's house at Umgawello Parish, a church plant in a very poor rural area with which we were asked to link. We hope this year to help the Christians there with building a brick dwelling for the pastor and his big family. This photo shows a disabled child in a hand-propelled trike at Nima Crafts, where disabled children receive free physiotherapy and learn about Jesus. The directors are missionaries Ben and Katie Ray, and presently we are supporting Ben to develop a design for a hand-propelled trike which can be produced in the NEMA workshops, because at the moment they are at an expensive import from America. NEMA Crafts Physio Unit cares for 150 children with disabilities. This presentation shows some of what the Lord is doing in Uganda and Tanzania. He gives us the privilege to take part in his work and he uses what we give to build his kingdom. We are invited to release from our resources God's provision for the mission work of spreading the gospel in all its fullness, to the glory of God. I pray that you will all participate in this work of the Lord, and we will see St Andrew's mission projects in Uganda and Tanzania continue for another year. Details of how to give are in the weekly newsletter.